There's somebody. They're pushing up. They're in the cut right now. There's three on B. Oh, the spider. No. Oh. oh. Yeah, I see him over there. Anyone need to freshen up? Shall I oh, I'm getting shot. Then there was one. What is going on everyone, Griffin here coming at you with some Anvil gameplay and today we're going to be talking about draft pick one last time. It's finally being introduced in Rogue Company, so let's head over and talk about it. So this is from the Daybreak PTS, Juke PTS, Juke Update, whatever you want to call it. So these are the Project Saint improvements and features that all have to do around ranked, specifically draft pick. In this update, we aim to improve the overall draft pick experience for our ranked and custom games. This overhaul entails a polished new Rogue Select experience, cleaner ban experience, and unique Rogue limitations. In addition, players will no longer redraft their Rogues at halftime. This will have players approach their matches in a more tactical give and take mindset in the rogue select phase of the match. We hope you enjoy this update and look forward to your feedback. Also, they're adding ranked strikeout. To further expand the ranked experience for our players as an experiment, we are introducing a separate ranked queue for strikeout. Strikeout has shown to be very popular game mode, and for a good while, there wasn't a place that the strikeout diehards could graduate to and have a place in the competitive environment. In this update, please try out the ranked experience for strikeout, complete with the draft pick rogue select improvement that we detailed above. Let us know what you think. So this is what the screen is actually going to look like. You're going to actually have one ban on each side still. And then you're going to have, like up here at the top, it kind of details it a little bit better. You've got this team banning. You've got this team banning. You've got two people on this team that are selecting rogues. Then it swaps to the two people on this team selecting rogues. Then it swaps back for the final two here and final two here. So the way that the, the draft system works is in other games, you would have a draft system where it will go from top down, right? So if it was me and three other people, then, you know, I would be at the top. I would ban and then I would pick first and then two people from the other team would pick and then two people and then one and one or however they did it and then you could actually trade characters back and forth they're doing it they're approaching it a little bit different which i'm okay with i think that this approach is okay like i don't think it, it's it's a good approach but i think that it's okay because they're basically opening the floodgates to where if you have two people on the team and they're like first pick you know of course like it's going to be two and two right so there's, it's going to open the floodgate for everybody to pick. You're going to have the ability for two people to lock in a character. Those two people lock in a character, and then it swaps over to the other side for two people to lock in a character. And what they're trying to you know, alleviate is the fact that you're actually going to have to make trades. They don't want to put Chad into the game. They don't want to open a, the floodgate for toxicity in the game, even though the toxicity already exists in the game. So whenever you're queuing with randoms in ranks specifically... Um, Basically, it's going to be the first two people that lock rogues in are going to be the first two people that lock rogues in. And then it's going to swap to the other team, and the same thing is going to happen over there. And then if you don't lock in the first two rogues, then, of course, you're not going to be able to play the four rogues that's already been locked in, plus the two bands. But So you're going to have to figure out like who you feel comfortable with playing, what feels right to play with, and what is a good counter for what's already been picked on the other side. Like I said, it's not a great system. It's a system that they implemented to try to like cut down on toxicity. But what I think more or less it, it comes down to is the fact that like you're going to have people that are going to be insta-locking rogues right out of the gate. And it's going to piss a lot of people off. Like, let's be real about this for a second. It's going to piss a ton of people off because they're going to insta-lock a rogue that you may not need. Like Phantom, for example. Let's talk about that for one second. Like, not every map is a sniper map. Even though every, like, 
phantom main thanks that every map has a sniper map it's not and if you're not a decent sniper like decent being like if you're not a good sniper you're not adding any value to your team but you're going to inevitably inevitably have those people that are going to go in and insta lock a phantom because they're a phantom main that's the only reason they're a phantom main they need to play phantom whatever so, like I said, it's not a great system. It is a system. The system could be changed. Like, this is what sucks. We've got the game coming out of beta, which means that they're not going to be adding any new core features into the game. It's going to exist the way that it currently exists right now. If the draft system doesn't work correctly, then what are they going to do? I mean, are they going to go in and revise how the system works? Are they going to disable the system? Like, I hope they don't disable it because they don't want to put chat into the game like text chat because they're afraid of toxicity get over yourselves just put sensors on certain words i don't anyway i'm excited for draft pick i'm glad that it's coming into custom games like that's super huge i'm glad that it's coming into the ranked experience that's super huge and i'm very excited for this because this is going to introduce a very very different way of playing the game and how you approach the game also, like having to lock in one character and not being able to redraft at that halftime point is going to like throw a lot of people off. I think it's going to it's going to be a whole new experience. And then it's also going to be the new experience with the draft pick. People are going to be like, oh, they got Phantom. I can't play Phantom. I can't play Phantom. I can't play Phantom. You know what I mean? Like they're going to actually have to like get better with other rogues. To be able to like be successful at playing ranked, which is how it is. That's what I'm most excited for because I play everybody. I don't care. So I can go into a ranked match when this update comes out and this is released, and I can feel pretty confident with whoever I ha whoever I get stuck with playing, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. Also, ranked strikeout. I think I've said this a thousand times, but I don't believe respawn modes belong in the uh, ranked experience. And I think that a lot of these um, strikeout diehards, you know, I know that strikeout is a very popular game mode. I understand. I get that it is the most played game mode for Rogue Company. I understand that. It's all good. It's all gravy. I don't think the people that play strikeout understand what the ranked experience is going to be like because they're going to have bands they're also going to have the draft pick and then it's also going to be like actually like competitive gameplay and right now people are dropping into strikeout because it's the only 4v4 respawn game mode that's currently in the game and they're picking a lancer and they're running around roll reloading and just fragging out and that's not what's going to happen in the competitive environment whenever they oh they're like oh i've been ready for this oh I can't, i've been waiting for this my whole life i can't wait strikeout rate oh i'm going to get on there i'm going to go rogue in less than a week it's going to be great and then they're going to drop in, and then they're going to realize this is a completely different experience than I was expecting. And I'm not as good as I thought I was. Just, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I can't wait to see that, like, plastered all over Twitter. Because there's a lot of people right now that's, like, rank strike out, and they're doing the fucking Super Saiyan fucking Rogue Company MO. Ah! And it's like, are you really that excited about it? Have you ever played ranked in any games before? It's going to go a little bit different than you're expecting there, my guy. But good luck, you know. So I am excited for draft pick. I am excited for the fallout of the strikeout ranked experience. I'm very excited for that. Um, and I think that this is a good system. I think that the system, of course, needs to be tweaked like every system they bring into Rogue Company to make it better, to make it th an actual good system. But I think that they've got a decent foundation built here. And the way that you pick Rogues, the way that the screen looks whenever you're actually in the character select, it's cool. It's revamped. I like the way that it looks. Um, I do wish that there was a little bit of an expanded section where you see all the Rogues and they're like grouped kind of like the way that they were before so that you because because a lot of people's like, okay, I know who I'm looking for. Who's that one character? Can't think of their, oh yeah, there's their picture. So, you know, like it would be cool if they kind of like had a pop-up system for that. But it is what it is. I'm excited for ranked draft. I'm excited to watch people. I'm excited to get in custom games with people and, and have a draft experience with some friends. Like that's what I'm excited for. And I might be a, just a full-time ranked player after this comes out. Like I'm super excited for this. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that join button. Become part of the 256 crew. And then also on Thursdays from 8 to 11 p.m. and Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired. I will be streaming here on YouTube. On Thursdays, we do Rogue Company. On Sundays, we do a couple stream with my wife. So if you're interested and available on either one of those days, please feel free to stop by, say hello, possibly join into a couple of custom matches. Thanks for watching, guys. There's somebody, they're pushing up, they're in the cut right now. There's three on B. Oh, the spider. No! Oh! oh. It came from right over here in the cut. Yeah, I see him over there. Oh, I'm getting shot. Then there was one. Oh, he's shooting through the thing there. Zip lining. Yeah, he's one tap. Well, he is now. He didn't zip line. It don't matter. All opponents eliminated. Great work, team. Oh, they're already over. Oh, I'm dead. Right here. She's pushing you. Picking him up right here. God damn it. Oh shit. There they come. I hear the train a coming. Got one over here on the perch. I've only I've only seen one, two. Bombs they're planting. They're planting as well. Got three over here. Crossing over. Fuck, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. You okay? You okay? Right, Still fucked. God damn. Numbers right here. Uh, she's in the tunnel. They might go B again. They landed kind of that way. Maybe middle B. They're sending the spotter know. over here. Yep. Yeah, they're in the cut. Yep, they're on left. They're in long. You okay? You okay? Found you. Why on your left? Yeah, you're on. Go. <laughs> they tried to rush me, dude. What the fuck was that? You know? Yeah.
The Umbra chased me to him. Like, all right. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> 